rising like the smoke you linger on me you got me so high i can finally breathe Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is really fun and different. Um, I'm gonna be doing a nail DIY tutorial at home. Acrylic nails without the acrylic and they're real cute because they're Gucci inspired. You know, everybody's been rocking the, the faux Gucci. So I was like, these nails would be dope if I did a tutorial on them. So this is a complete at home DIY using my London Town uh, liqueur nail polish and they sent me a top coat and a nail hardener as well so first you're gonna start off with buffing your nails my nails have completely been like cut down I, I like to keep my nails short underneath any like acrylics or press-ons I just feel like it's easier so I cut them down with a nail clipper and then I'm just buffing them because you want the surface of your nail to be buffed so that the glue um, that you're using to adhere the nail the, the fake nail to your fingernail will actually like stick to something if it's completely smooth It's not going to stick for long and it'll just pop right off and then you see me going in with a little cuticle um, Pick I don't know what to call it, but I was just pushing my cuticles back and then I'm using a cuticle cutter to just cut away any excess cuticle that I don't need you know you want your cuticles to look really nice and manicured so that when you do have these fake nails on they look even more real like you did go to the salon and get them done so that's what my nails is looking like real cute yes. fresh clean nails and then I purchased these nail these fake acrylic nails or they're not even acrylic but they're just like the nail tips but instead of being a tip it's for your whole nail which I really like um, a lot of DIYs that I've watched it's like they're taking the nail tip that you're supposed to typically put at the tip of your nail and then put acrylic on top and they're putting it all the way by the cuticle these are actually made to be pushed and to be placed right up against the cuticle which is perfect so you don't have to like shape them or anything um, because they come shaped like round for your cuticle and then I'm just taking some scotch tape putting it on the back of the nail and then using a shish kebab pick because I didn't have any q-tips and I didn't have anything else to use so I was like hey why not so I'm just taking a shish kebab pick and I'm putting it on the back this is gonna allow me to have the nail on something so that I can like paint all of them evenly and have them be perfect I didn't want to glue them onto my hand first and then go in and paint them because one hands gonna not be as nice as the other so the first color I'm using is chimes of the city and this is like a perfect cool tone nudie beige color I'm absolutely in love I just want to do like a really simple natural set for my nails using just this color because I just love the way it looks and this is no there's no base coat to it and it has such a high shine and then I just had a cup of like lentils or beans that I was sticking the the nails in so that they can dry standing up straight but back to this color it is so beautiful I love this color like I'm so so impressed look at how shiny it is and then we're going in with emerald tower which is gonna give us that nice Gucci green color you know that classic green and red that Gucci does well this color is like the perfect it's like the bottled version of that color two coats and just look at that oh my gosh I love it this color is so 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 pretty perfect for like fall and winter I just love like a really nice deep green um, I just love it that's with no top coat people like I can't get over that it and this is this brand is cruelty free um, and it there are certain things in the nail polish that actually help your nails um, become harder over time and strengthen your nails and help them grow so when you're painting your regular nails or you're using this on acrylic nails it doesn't matter but if you're using this on your regular natural nails it's going to help your natural nails grow as well like I just feel like it's just like one great thing after the other after the other and I don't know if I mentioned but this nail polish is all from London Town um, nail polish that's the name of the brand and they did send me the nail polishes to review on my channel and I'm just I'm such a big fan like honestly 
I feel like I'm just gonna need all of their nail polishes now because the colors are so beautiful. Then I'm going in with some striping tape. Um, you can use this to create like stripes on your nails or you can use it to create like chevron designs. Um, I'm using it more as like guidelines for where I want to paint on the nail. And then I'm going to go back in with some more of the striping tape and take this on a bare nail. And I place it, as you guys can see, two lines, leaving the center bare because red is going to go in the center. And I'm taking that emerald tower color and just painting on both sides of the lines. And I'm making sure to cover the tape too because we're not going to peel the tape off of this one. We're actually going to leave the tape there, which is something that I decided later on. But for the nude nail, I had to peel it off so that I can paint the green on both sides of the red stripe that I created on the nail. So I'm going back in with some more striping tape. This was really helpful. If you don't have the striping tape, which is super cheap, um, you can find it like the 99 cent store, the beauty supply store, or you can get it online like on eBay. If you don't have that, you can always use tape. And then I realized that I had this set of nail art designs from Sally Hansen so it came with two detail brush detailer brushes and a dotting tool which I used later on as well and I'm just showing you guys the green nail that I painted earlier I'm actually using some tape instead of the striping the striping tape and it gives you the same exact effect one I did with the striping tape and the other I did with the actual tape scotch tape um, and then I'm going back onto the nude nail and I'm just creating the two green stripes on both sides of that nail. And then we're jumping over to the thumbnail. I know I'm kind of like all over the place, but I feel like it's really simple to follow if you just watch. I can't with this color. It's so beautiful. Oh my God. But that's what that finger looks like. Um, but I just wanted to try different methods on how to get the same effect like the green and red. So I have one finger with the nude base and the green and the red stripe in the center. And then I have another finger where I did green all over the nail and then I did red in the center. And then I have another finger where I did green on the sides and red in the center. This finger is going to have the Gucci snake on it. And honestly, I was very intimidated to do this because I was like, I'm not going to be able to do this. Like, this is too hard. What am I doing? Like, I'm going to mess up this whole nail. I'm not going to be able to do it. But it actually wasn't that hard. I have some, like, super cheap, no-name brand white nail polish that has, like, the skinny um, nail brush so that you can do designs. Um, it literally has no name on it. So I don't even know where it's from or how long I've had it for, but... I just went in and I drew like a really curvy S and then I did the head of the little snake and then I'm going in with the dotting tool from the Sally Hansen nail design kit that I got from the pharmacy the drugstore and I'm just going in and doing little red dots to fill in the snake and then I went in with black nail polish. This is another no name brand black nail polish that I probably got from the beauty supply store or something. And I'm just outlining the snake in with the black, very thin line. I, I, I ended up using the same brush from the white. I just dipped it in the black nail polish. I wiped it off first, of course. But then I, I dipped it in the black nail polish and I'm just outlining the snake. And I was, at this moment, I was feeling real proud of myself because it just looks so good. <laughs> I was like, yes, this snake looks amazing. And then I went in. And I did little black lines on the white part of the snake, not on the red. You want to do it in between the red, the red um, stripes on the snake. You're going to do little white, I mean, little black lines. And that is your full snake, your Gucci snake. And now your nails are hella Gucci. Like, you can't tell me nothing. My nails look like Gucci produced them themselves. Like, these are Gucci press-ons. <laughs> and then for the thumb, I wanted to keep it super simple because the other nails are already doing the most. So I just went in and I did like a chevron detail on the tip of the nail with the green and the red. And then I cut the striping tape 
or yeah striping tape I cut it with the cuticle cutters just to you know make sure that it looks nice and even and then I did a nice top coat on that nude nail oh my gosh the top coat makes it look even better like it looks so good and then the last and final step for the ring finger I took an old necklace that's not even real gold it's like fake gold probably from like Claire's or something I cut it with the cuticle cutters and I just used the um, nail glue that I'm gonna use to adhere the nail to my fingernail and I just glued it on this on top on the center where the red is and then I did a top coat and this is the nail glue that I use It's from kiss it has maximum strength and maximum drying time um, if you hold the nail there for I want to say 20 to 30 seconds it will not budge like it will be good to go and that's exactly what I did I just put a nice little dot of nail glue on the center you don't want to put too much because then it's going to get on your skin and your cuticles and that's gonna hurt over time so you just put a nice little dot on the center of your nail and then press the nail down and hold it there while you're pressing firmly for 20 to 30 seconds and that is your at home DIY acrylic no acrylic nails Gucci inspired let me know down below if you guys like this if it's something that you're going to try out I love 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 to see your DIY Gucci nails so please let me know if you're gonna try it down below and this is the last color that they sent me I just wanted you guys to see how beautiful it was I put it on my toes I know some people like don't like to see feet and then other people do so sorry not sorry <laughs> um, London Town was also nice enough to give me a discount code just for my subscribers so if you use Jasmine 30 at checkout you'll get 30% off your entire order which is absolutely amazing um, making the nail polishes extremely affordable and I feel like they were already really nice for the kind of quality that you get so I absolutely love that and if you send me a screenshot of your order with your order name and your order number they'll give you a free nail file with your purchase as well so it's just all in all you're winning all around you'll have bomb nails all because of me so make sure you leave me a comment down below let me know which colors you're gonna try which colors you want to buy um don't forget to check out any of my other videos i love you guys and thank you so much for watching bye